Oh, better late than never is what I always say, and what you always say is... That's right. All right. It was six years ago, mate, uh, that a young whippersnapper put an idea. St- Honestly, I've not done anything in two weeks. There's not been a peep outside. Now somebody, literally the minute I start recording, starts hammering concrete. I uh, put up an idea station post saying uh, some parts end up with a load of redundant sketches and work features, which are essentially orphans, unused, empty junk. It would be nice to be able to purge these out in one swoop. Awesome use of vocab there, Neil. Uh, to keep the browser tidy. And in, the, in those six years, I've, I mean, I've got tons of idea station posts. I just get my emails, just get just hammered with someone's upvoted this, upvoted that. And I just stopped paying attention to them until yesterday it got implemented. Ooh, right. I was like, all right, what got implemented? Oh, this one. Really? It took six. Okay, fine. Better late than never. So this is something that's useful for everybody. And it's going to be really quick because it's dead easy. But it's only available for reasons that I'm sure Autodesk can explain. They decided to to keep this reserved to, to invent a 2023.2 update. So if you've got 2023.0 or 2023.1 or any earlier versions of Inventor, apparently this won't work in that. Uh, incentives much to upgrade and keep your subscription going. Uh, but right, all right. So how does it work? You've got a model. It's full of it's it's full of busy, right? The browser's got loads of stuff in it, and you don't know your ass from your elbow in here, right? You've got patterns and extrudes and fillets and works, work planes, axes, sketches, and like sketch ten, sketch set, right? Why are these just are these used for anything? I don't, right? I want to I want to clean it up. Is work axis three being used for any further features? Right. So what you've got now on the manage tab is this. I I think it's a it's meant to be a brush no, or a, a broomstick. It looks more like an orange potion vial, elixir vial to me, but never mind. Uh, whatever. Click that, and it, you get this box that says, "These are all the stuff. This is the stuff in your browser that's not getting used. Do you want to? Do you want to purge it?" That's it. Uh, this, but there is some ifs and buts to this, so stick around because it's not perfect. But you click OK. And it just goes boosh and it cleans. It just gets rid of all the work planes, axes, and sketches that, uh, and all work features that just aren't being used, that are redundant, that aren't linked to anything. Um, so there's, so that's it, right? But the, the, the ifs and buts to this is if you've got, like, say, for example, I'll show you an example of where this kind of uh, needs a bit of attention. Let's create a work plane off of, off of that, right? And then I'll create another work plane off of that. Right, so we've now got work plane, what number are we up to? Uh, work plane 12 and work plane 11. They're not getting used by any features. But if you purge, it's only going to purge work plane 12 first, which is this one here. You then have to purge again to get rid of that one because technically the first work plane was being used to create the second work plane. So you might have to spam purge numerous times to eventually get rid of everything. Um, the The next caveat is... And this is a note to Autodesk. I, I, hi, I know you watch these. It would be nice. I know it was my idea, this. <laughs> but it would be nice if you could reserve entities for exclusion from Purge. Like, say, if you've got a... I mean, if you've got a skeletal model sketch, it probably will be used. But say you've got a sketch that you, you just want to keep there. It's got a bunch of reference parameters in it. Uh, it's got a bunch of, I don't know, it might, it might just be an image in there that you haven't got around to using yet. You, you can't mark that for for exclusion from Purge. I've tried absolutely everything. I've tried, you know, creating a sketch and then, right, putting some uh, dimensions in it. And then I've tried naming the dimensions to make them name parameters. I've tried going into the parameters box and marking them as key parameters, but it still will purge this sketch. Uh, I've tried making the sketch adaptive just to see if that flags anything. I've tried, I've tried everything as far as I know, and I can't mark something for exclusion from purge. It's still just going to go purge. There's sketch twenty. That's one we've just made. I mean, you can click no, but right, we all know humans are humans, and humans forget. So you know, you might just blindly go on to purge everything. Okay. Oh crap! Uh, you can undo it, obviously, and it brings it back, which is good. But um, yeah, that's that's it's good, right? Yeah. 
slow and steady wins the race, you know, and all that. Six years later, we got it in the we got it in the product. So there you go. That's how to purge on your sketches. Thanks to all the channel members who are keeping me doing tutorials. Apologies for the last two weeks. I've not been around. Um, yeah, family bereavement, which uh, required my full attention. But uh, I'm back on track with the tutorials, tips and tricks. Wow, I did one in five minutes. Thanks a lot. See you later. Toodles. Toodles.